Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we're doing our um, workshop on public art and graffiti. Graffiti is, is very often um, associated with gangs and tags and illegal activity. But we're looking at it more as public art and a way of expressing and communicating um, using a different medium other than just being confined to a canvas or a piece of paper. We want the kids to think about um, the different art forms. For example, Michelangelo, who was during his time commissioned to do many of his paintings on church ceilings and in buildings, and also cave painting. There's been a long history of actually doing art on public spaces. And so we want them to understand that it's not just an illegal activity that it's been going on. There's a history to graffiti. It's not so much graffiti, but more public art. Of course, we're going to teach the kids that they shouldn't go out and you know deface a building. But at the same time, this is a great way for them to get to use a big, big canvas and kind of be free to express themselves. Well, Lisa and I are both professionals. You know, she writes uh, New York Times bestselling books. I was a creative director at Lincoln Center. We have our own professional work. However, we really feel passionate about children, and we want them to be able to express themselves in ways and in deeper ways than that they can explore in school. In school they have a certain curriculum they have to follow and that's wonderful they learn some basics. We both felt really strongly about creating the studio and um, have put you know everything into it. It's actually really fun. I think it's good that they actually did it. It lets us show what we really feel inside that we can't technically say and it lets us just be free and like you can't do it outside because it's illegal and we don't want to break laws and everything because we're kids but um, but here we can just do it and we can just do it freely. Here we see two hands in the peace sign. Um, one is white, one is black like as skin color or as just religion and they're just like reaching out for each other so that we can always like be together and we don't want like war and everything and we want peace. Well, my painting, is, my graffiti is saying peace plus happiness equals love, meaning that if there's peace and happiness in the world, there has to be love with it too. The two stick figures are supposed to be like people in society that follow the role that they have been told that they have to play instead of <clears throat> living life to what they think that life should be about. And instead they live it the way that everybody else lives life. I drew peace, love, and happiness on earth. Yeah, and think outside of the box. Why would you like people to think outside of the box? So the world is different, and people are their own self, and they don't follow people, other people. That's a clover, or a four-leaf clover, which stands for good luck. Um, the message, I believe, is we're all lucky to be here. And I think it also um, sends an environmental message. Um, I think I like this um, project a lot. I've never really done something like this on such a large scale. I would usually do, draw on a regular piece of paper, but I, I just like it when it's really big. I tried to create like um, the world as like a family and everyone's holding hands around the world. And then in the center, I'm going to draw a heart and roots coming out. Like at my old school, I was being bullied and stuff. And so this class was kind of like a good outlet in order to express your emotions through art and writing. Um, well, what I was trying to interpret was um, kind of the design of allowing peace to kind of grow in the world and um, make it kind of blossom since at this moment um, there's been a lot of wars and um, fights and um, not many people have been getting along very well. The response has been really amazing. They really have a lot to say and I don't really think people realize how much creativity is inside of them and that they needed a place to let it out where they feel safe, that it's okay, that they're not going to be judged by what they're writing. They're gonna be permitted to express themselves without 
having to be corrected. And so that really allows them to, to fully express themselves through art and writing.